Fantastic. First of all, lovely to meet you. Really Thank nice you. to meet you. Um, I think the release of the new DVD and the box set is a good excuse to look back, if you like. Um, mm. How do you feel when you watch some of those earlier movies? Are there any kind of things that you go, oh, God, on oh, my hair, or oh, my this goodness. or that? So many things. Like, just looking back at the earlier films, my voice is so much higher. <laughs> it's so weird. And just... Just everything, I guess. It's just looking, it's kind of like looking back at baby photos, but mm. um, yeah, it, no, it's, it's, it can be quite embarrassing, definitely. Um, but I guess I'm kind of used to it now. Um, just kind of, yeah. I'm just used to it, I guess. <laughs> I think, um, you know, from, from an audience point of view, it's been one of the most interesting things for us, I think, watching you guys grow up. Mm. But, you know, I can imagine it must be almost like having home movies shown to the world. It's yeah. quite a personal thing, isn't it, to yeah. have out there in front of everyone? It is It is very strange that the, kind of the world has literally watched me grow up. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Um, yes, it is. But, uh, you know, I guess that's one of the things that makes this, the, the series so interesting I guess mm -hmm. and because you really are following people through a real real journey and yeah. yeah I mean they've certainly changed so much from the early movies as well mm -hmm. and I think it's quite unusual for an audience be, to be willing to allow that to happen often mm -hmm. we want Mark 2 or Mark 3 and, mm -hmm. and we want just more of the same mm -hmm. why do you think with Harry Potter we're willing to let it develop like that it's <sighs> a really interesting question um, I don't know I th it's quite unusual that a film franchise uh, gets more successful, if that makes sense, that with each film they seem to get better and mm. there's more hype about each one, you know, kind of, the first one's really good and then they decide to make a couple more and they're kind of not quite as good. And, but with Harry Potter they just seem to get better and I think it is to do with the fact that we are growing up mm -hmm. and so our performances get better, for one. Well, I hope so anyway. And I think, I think the audiences get really attached to the characters in Harry Potter. Mm. I think it's very easy for di everyone, different types of people, all different ages, to identify with a character in Harry Potter because they're all they're they're not perfect human beings. You know, they're kind of a bit geeky. They're kind of outsiders. They're kind of um, you know, you know, Harry's the underdog and Hermione's a bit of a geek, and you know, Ron is kind of from quite a poor background, and and he's a bit he's a bit geeky too. And I don't know. I just think people would just love. I think. There's something very endearing about them, and I think, it, yeah, I just think they're very easy to identify with, and people yeah. like watching them grow up and see where they go. And yeah, sorry, I've really just ranted. No, that, that's true. Yeah, I think yeah, they're very human, <laughs> even when they're wizards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, as you say, you've, you've all of you developed so much as actors, but also we've had to watch you grow up in the spotlight as well and that must have been really tough particularly I think for you as a girl having mm. to deal with people talking about how you look mm. what you're wearing do you feel that that's unfair that you know as a woman you've got to put up with all that rubbish as well sometimes I do sometimes I kind of I'm just like oh can't you know I just get really kind of fed up with it and um it's it's hard being scrutinized quite so much especially I, you know, from when I was so young, when I just didn't, you know, particularly want to be thinking about what I was wearing or what people were going to say and whatever. But um, I don't know. I just tried to keep fashion fun for me, and that's always what it has been. Something that is fun, and just try not to think too much about what people are going to say about it. Or, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just one last thing. I think everyone involved in the film has been great at letting you guys be yourselves, and Daniel's gone off to do various things, mm. and, and you've kept your studies up. Certainly, mm. uh, certainly, members of the public might say, "Oh, she's making a mint. What does she need? To, what does she need an education yeah, for?" Yeah, I, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. You're just like, why? Why are you doing that? And I'm just like, well. Um, because I enjoy it and learning learning is really important to me and it keeps me motivated and it makes me feel normal and it keeps me in touch with my friends and normality just generally and um, I don't know, it really means something to me. I don't know, it just really does and before Harry Potter that was always what I was going to do and I guess I just want to be the same person and um, I don't know, I just... You know, and also this is such an unpredictable business and, you know, one minute you're up there and another minute you're not and it's it's all very unpredictable and I just, it would just, I just want to have something that I can fall back on and something that, you know, if this all goes wrong and whatever, then there's something that I can do and, you know, I'll have, I don't know, just something else there, I don't know.
it's, it's hard to explain, but I don't know, it's just, I've worked really hard to keep up and keep doing it, and I'm really glad that I have. Um, I think it's, it's kept me sane. It's kept me sane. <laughs> well, good for you. I don't think you've got anything to worry about, whether you become an academic or an actress or whatever, you're going to be grand. Thanks so Thank much. You. Thanks you. Thanks for Thanks very much. So much.